Now for the best part. This is what made this series of videos of Seem Like a Hacker possible. We're going to be adding the set of magnificence rule that the great Mutas created to detect multitude of attacks into Windows systems. We do that by going into the admin tab and going under extension management and then we are going to point to whatever you downloaded from my box folder, the files, and it's going to be a directory name curator unsupported. It's a reminder, don't call support for this. And this is the file. Think like a hacker. Sysmon. There's going to be one for Kubernetes and we plan on doing many more things in the future with this. You click here, you can click install immediately, but I want to give you a flavor what, while this process runs, takes a, a while, of, again, this is telling, this is not signed by IBM, it's meant for you to learn. If you install, if you like this rule and you want to install it in a production system, Again, you do it at your own risk and don't call IBM support for it. I want to give you a flavor of the magnitude of this work on Sysmon. And to do that, there's going to be a folder that is not complete right now, it says uh, documentation. And this is, there's going to be a, a spreadsheet similar to this that has the rule and notice that they are what, 200 and something rules? <laughs> Almost 300 of them. Um, whether the rule works with standard Windows logs and or the Sysmon logs. This one, for example, only works with the Sysmon logs. The description. And there's going to be even another document that shows how these things maps to the MITRE attack framework. Spectacular work you're going to be amazed of all the things that you will be able to detect on the multitude of, of attacks that we will be doing with this lab. Pausing the video until this part completes. We click now install and pausing the video again. That took a while and after that you click here, OK, I recommend you to use and download from the App Exchange the use case manager app is a much better way of looking at the rules but if you have not done that let me actually show you if you go here under rules you're going to find all those beautiful rules I told you about under Windows security group so if I go here under Windows security these are the rules that the bright mutas. Bright and hard-working guy because you have to know a lot and you have to work <laughs> very hard to create all these fantastic rules that now your curator system is ready to detect. So the machine is ready for the attacks uh, to, to start to take place and and then we register in offenses here if they happen and we'll be doing that in subsequent videos. Now if you go to the uh, Wing Collect 101, there is an SFS, a patch for Curator, that was uh, released. I don't think it is necessary. I think that this is more applicable for Wing Collect as uh, managed, not the standalone. But if you want to be thorough and install that, I'm going to share with you the steps to do so. So I'm going to bring FileZilla up to move that file into the store temp directory. Again, uh, do this if you really want to be very, very thorough. So we are there. So this is the SFS file. And moving in there. Oh, actually, not on the root. Well, this is, has enough space for it. Uh, actually, let me move it to store temp, which has normally far more space that, uh, than root has. So now we 
go into an SSH, SSH session, we move to store temp. Like that right. Actually, I have an SSH into the box. My apologies. Boy, I must be tired, really. Okay, I'm in. So let me move into the store temp. We have the file there. Now, the f the, if you never have applied a patch into Curator, these are the steps uh, to do so. First, we need to create a directory. The directory is going to be media updates. Now, we're going to mount that SFS file. So we do mount dash or loop dash t squatch sfs and then the file is 730q actually underscore Q and then tap that completes the whole thing and we're going to have mounted on the directory we just created media updates once we've done that all we need to do is go to media updates and click installer and that's going to ask you a few questions from the beginning and say yes we say yes and it's going to ask us to it's warning us that is the event collection is going to be stopped while the patch gets installed and the machine is going to reboot the web server and all so I'm going to let this run until it finishes well, that is it. You, your curator system is completely ready to start detecting attacks by virtue of getting the Windows logs with Sysmon. And we are going to be doing the attacks in the next series of videos. And as, as I'm writing, as I'm recording this, uh, I don't know exactly how many videos we're going to be doing. Uh, we have some some good use cases already uh, tested with uh, with Mutas, but uh, more things will come, and I hope that the community adds more use cases and more ideas into this. Because, uh, uh, as I said in the positioning video, none of us get paid for doing this. This is a community effort. We want everybody to learn how to protect better their infrastructure from attacks from hacker and this series of videos is intended to make you think as a hacker and detect these type of attacks